Hey everybody, welcome back to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Implementation video series. This video is going to cover project templates. Templates are a great way to start a new project um, with any level or any amount of desired information that's previously been defined. In order to create a template, we're going to choose a project that we've already started working on or completed, and we're simply going to save as template. When I save this as a template, it's going to save to my program data folder. And now, the next time I need to start a project, those templates are available. So a template can be for a specific project, um, a specific customer. Maybe they have their own standards. You also see a couple defaults in here. We have ANSI. We have the IEC and JIS as well. So depending on the region that you're working on, you can create a template for that. Why did I want to cover this as the first video, uh, technically second video of this series? Mainly because as you're building out your projects, you want to think about all the things that, will this work well for my next project? Will that work well? Will this symbol be used in my next project? Do these wire styles match for this project that we have in this project? Are they going to work well for our next project? And if any of the answer, if the answer is yes to any one of those, it makes sense to create a template because that way I don't have to go ahead and reset all of that stuff again for my next project. So one other item to note is that when we save as a template, a template in some other tools are their title blocks. They call title blocks templates. That's not the case with SOLIDWORKS Electrical. A title block is a title block. A template is a essentially an image of the entire project that we can now use over and over and over again. Once again, that once that project is saved as a template, when I want to create a new one, it is now under the create new project tab. So some of the things that you would find inside of a project template, things that are a part of this project that we have here, all of these different configurations, which can be tweaked and defined by the user. Um, obviously, there's defaults that the software comes with, but there's a lot of folks out there who want to manipulate these a little bit more and add a little bit more detail and really tailor it to what they're doing specifically. So you can come into every single one of these and, and tweak these settings just a little bit for you, for your team, for your company to make it uh, more unique for you. So the project templates account for all this information here again so that way when i start the next project i don't have to go through all of these and change this information it's captured from the one i've already started so that first project you work on may take a little bit longer to set up because now you have to build all these things into it but the second project is exponentially going to be a lot faster because again it's already set up so with that said, I hope this helped a quick understanding of what a project template is. When we go through the software now, um, and as we start to build out a project, at the very end of this video series, we're going to archive our project, but we're also going to create a template of that project. So again, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.